You're listening to today's inspirational message on the Proverbs with Kurt Bjorklund. Proverbs 23, verse 17 and 18 say this, Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. Surely there's a future and a hope will not be cut off and your hope will not be cut off. The New Living Translation says, Don't envy sinners. But always continue to fear the Lord, for surely you have a future ahead of you. Your hope will not disappoint. This verb that's used here for the idea of envy, uh, according to the net notes, uh, is a verb that means to be jealous or to be zealous. And it describes a passionate intensity for something. The English, if the object is illegitimate, is called envy. If it's correct, it's called zeal. But here the warning is not to envy sinners. The second colon could use the verb in the positive sense to mean, but rather let your passion burn for the fear of the Lord. So what does all that mean? In many ways, comparison is the thief of joy. Have you ever noticed this? You may have something and love that thing, and then you see somebody who has a better version of it, more of it, and all of a sudden your thing doesn't feel as happy anymore. I remember when my son went to a birthday party one time when he was really young, and he got one of those helium balloons that make kids really happy, and he was playing with it. He was overjoyed. He was passionate about his balloon, and then one of the other little boys at the party got two of these balloons, and all of a sudden his one balloon seemed inadequate. It seemed insufficient. His comparison, his little two-year-old mind had made a comparison and the comparison had stolen his joy. In many ways, it's natural to make comparisons. It's difficult not to compare how we're faring when we see how others are faring. This is complicated for us when we see someone get ahead of us who has little regard for God and his ways and they seem to thrive. In this setting, it can become tempting to think that it doesn't matter if I follow God's ways or not. People who spend their money, their time without regard for God or choose their morality apart from what has been revealed often seem to get ahead. This is the idea of sinners, but, but this text says don't envy sinners. Avoid feeling sorry for yourself. And as natural as comparison is, we have to understand that it's rooted in envy. And envy is comprised, according to Derek Kidner, of an undue preoccupation with oneself and with the present. And the remedy is in verse 17 and verse 18. It's to look up in verse 17 and to look ahead in verse 18. So look up. Verse 17. God will not be mocked, according to Galatians 6, verses 6 through 10. Recalling God's character will remind us of the foolishness of envying someone who doesn't know God and his love. It would be no different than a child who is the heir of an amazing estate being irritated that his friend's parents bought their children balloons while he didn't get a balloon. <laughs> Looking up means recalling that our Heavenly Father has more than enough and that he is good. When we look up, we will not be able to look sideways in a comparative envy. We look up by spending time in worship and in the word and with others who know and celebrate our Heavenly Father. We look up by remembering that Jesus has done for us on the cross something that we can't do, and therefore we see God's heart for us. But we don't just look up. We also look ahead. Verse 18 it says, do not fret over the life and passing rewards uh, of the wicked. Actually, this is um, from uh, the Zondervan Study Bible where we're told this as a summation of verse 18, do not fret over the life and passing rewards of the wicked. Instead, focus on and possess a passion for glorifying God in the future. God will reverse the present situation by punishing the wicked with the loss of everything and rewarding those who fear the Lord with eternal life. For a time, people who do not honor God seem to prosper, but they have no future to those who follow him, God promises a hope and a wonderful future, even if they don't achieve it in this life. That's what the Life Application Study Bible says. The story of our lives is not told by the events of this life. It will be told by the future that is beyond this life. What this means is you and I can't count the balloons that we have now 
or our counting will ultimately be off. So today, will you choose to yield to envy or will you set your mind on things above as Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 say? Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day. 